welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. I'm really sorry that I have been MIA from YouTube for the last month, but I was actually working on my new and first ebook, which is recipes in an hour or less. And hopefully by the time you see this video, it will be linked down below so that you can buy it. I promise that you will love it. I'm so, so proud of it. Today we're going to make the Peruvian version of Arab rice, which just have a small, a few small changes to the original recipe. And this is a rice that we traditionally eat during Christmas as a side dish to turkey. So the things that we do differently is that we add raisins to it and we also add, which is really funny, Coca-Cola. So just because I don't want to add Coca-Cola to this, we're going to replace it. The color we're going to get from soy sauce and the sweetness we're going to get from brown sugar that I have already dissolved in the water for the rice. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you'll find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. I'm now going to make this Arab rice Peruvian style, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. The first thing that we need to do is I have here some capellinis, which is this really, really thin pasta, and we're going to break it into small pieces and toast it with some olive oil. Once the capellini are toasted, we're going to remove them from the pan to cook the garlic. In Peru, we always add garlic to our rice, and this is no exception. So I'm going to add a garlic pulp. You can mince it, or you can grate it like me with a fine grater, or you can also use puree of garlic. We're going to saute it in olive oil with, for about a minute, and then we're going to add the rice and heat that up as well. You want to move around the rice for about a couple of minutes, just so that it seals and then you know that it's going to be nice and fluffy instead of sticky. After this, we're going to add the raisins, which I previously hydrated, <laughs> which I previously hydrated in boiling water for 10 minutes. We're going to add also the capellini that we toasted, the soy sauce and the water that I told you that has uh, brown sugar dissolved in it already. After that in goes the water and we're going to season with salt and you want to taste the water to actually see if it's salty enough. So we're right now on medium heat, you want to wait for it to come to a boil and once you see that there are bubbles coming up then we reduce the heat to a minimum and put a lid on it for about 20 minutes or until you see that it's nice and dry. If your stove is not capable of doing minimum heat because you know what kind of stove I'm talking about, then you want to put a pan underneath just so there's another level that diffuses the heat a bit more. Once it's dry underneath, you can check with a fork on the side. Then you can fluff it up with a fork just to make sure that the grains of rice are not sticking to each other. And then it's good to be served or maybe just keep it in here until it's time for dinner. And then you can reheat it without any problem. I always like to add some crispiness to my uh, Christmas rice, so I'm going to chop some almonds and just sprinkle them on top. That was my Arab rice. 
it's Peruvian style. I really hope you liked it. If you did like it, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video. It makes me really, really happy. And send me a picture if you make this for Christmas or any other occasion. I love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything savory or sweet that you would like me to teach you how to make, you can leave a comment below. I'm posting recipes every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. It's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.